Let me get you guys better honed in. Super wonderful, amazing. Hope you've all had an awesome day. I have. I've been sending out orders, figuring out what I can add to our uh, scratch off game that we do every year. It's happening right now. In a minute, Jeff will bring over what I'm talking about with scratch off. He's putting labels on the last couple. And uh, today we're going to be doing ornaments. I, every time I go home for Christmas, the holidays, etc., we do Christmas at our house, whatever you guys celebrate. I feel like ornaments are always fun. It doesn't have to be denominational. So, I'm going to show you how I ornament in theory. As soon as I set that up, okay, cool. What's up, Rumple, Kathy, Belinda, Sue? How are things in the future? Susan and Jenny. So I did these, I think, last year. Let me turn the flash on so you can see what goes on. Boop, boop, boop. So I did these ones last year. Hello, Melody. Can you guys hear me out? Okay, everything cool? I love a purple and gold. So in a minute, I'm going to talk about gum Arabic. And what that does is this awesome, like, outline-y, texture-looking business. All these flex. That's from that. But you can also just use glitter this is some mermaid glitter oh when i sit down you can't hear me oh that's a rude of me let me get my mic well hopefully the mic works and if it doesn't then i'm just gonna have to talk super loud Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. How about now? Can you hear me now? My check one, two, one, two. Mm -hmm. These are super cool and um, they're super easy to do in comparison to like other things. And I love making these. I actually got these from our fairy art mother, G. UD. And I actually have a lot left over. So if you want, you could use any glass ornament. You could probably even use plastic ornaments. But if you want some of the ones that I'm using, I have like a couple of cases, which is a set of four left. I have them on the website. Just so I can open some space in the shop. So, let me go over the materials while I'm trying to get some of this out. So, you're going to need some micas. You can use any mica, but in my opinion, the color art micas work the best. And that's because, nope, yep color arts primary elements and that's because the pigment is a little bit different than most micas. They're more pigmented pigments. That doesn't make sense. But um, yeah. It just is. It's just more pigmented uh, pigments. I couldn't see the chat for a second so I'm restarting. Anyways. Um, you're gonna need that. I just showed you guys what gum Arabic does, but I'm gonna show you how to use it and all that jazz in a moment. Why can't you? Oh, 
I don't know why everything was paused. My bad. But I'm back. So you're going to need gum Arabic, some micas. I prefer primary elements. You are free to use whatever ornaments, whatever gum Arabic, whatever anything that you want to. I'm just telling you guys what I'm personally using. The details are up to you. So, the next thing you're going to need is a pouring medium. I'm just using this from Vallejo. Almost all of you guys probably have, um, Bobby. what is it, Mod Podge or polycrylic in your stash of art supplies. Both of those will be good to go. You just want to make sure that it's going to dry clear and is water soluble so that it'll mix and play well with um, your micas. And then you're going to need, I use these little coffee stirrers. It's just the best at putting color into these bad boys. And what else? I guess that's it. So, oh. Is that better? Hope that's better. Yes? No? Yes? So I don't know where I left off, but what all that I said so far was you need to have ornaments. You can use any glass ornaments, or you could probably even use plastic ornaments. Just need durable ornaments because we're going to beat the devil out of these. Uh, I have some of these on my website just because I have some left over from the last season that I did them. So if you want some of the ones I use specifically, they are available on my website in this moment. Um, you're going to need some kind of pouring medium. I'm using this one by Vallejo. All that really matters is that it dries clear and is water soluble to work with your uh, whatever color powders you're using. You can use any mica. In my opinion, the primary elements from color art work the best. It just is more pigmented. It just works better. Um, I do have some hearts and I do have some eggs. I don't have very many of each. I'm just trying to open up some space in my shop. So they're available on the website right now, right now, right now. I don't know how long they're gonna be available. So the next thing you're gonna need is some thing to use to get your powders into your ornament. I'm using these little coffee stirrers. Whatever it is you wanna use, it's up to you. I'm using gum Arabic as well, and that's gonna give us those super different little looks on our um, ornaments. I like how they work, how it works um, with the primary elements. You probably use TLP or any other kind, but I haven't used any other kind, so I don't know firsthand, I'm just assuming. So first things first is you're gonna take your ornament. I'm selling them in a box or a case. That comes with four. And you unwrap them. Take this little doodad out. Boop. Then you have just a glass ornament. Then you're going to take your pouring medium, bing, bang, boing, and you're going to pour it into your shape. I have already done the ones I'm going to do today. Maybe I'll do another one. Who's to say? But the next step is the most long time consuming thing. You want to have a good coat of the pouring medium in your this, your ornament, um, but you don't want too much. This is going to collect a little bit. See how it's still very runny. You want to 
have as much out as possible. That's just gonna keep your uh, micas, pigments, whatever you're using from dripping down with the gravity in your ornament. So I usually have just a little cup and I just let them drain. It's best if you do a number of them, that way you're not sitting around and waiting. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one and let the other one just have a little bit of extra pigment in it so that you guys can see uh, what the difference is. So, I don't even know what color we're gonna do. I have all of the these. Let's do Laguna Azul. Don't know what color this is. I'm gonna drop some onto this. Oh, it's like turquoisey green. So we'll do some of that. And I wanna do, let's do Chambord, which is like a purpley color. These are my go-to colors, generally. And then we'll do some gum arabic and some gold. What's up, Pam? Hello, everyone. I got this gum arabic off of Amazon. The brand I don't think matters. So we're just gonna scoop up, I don't know if you can see that. Gonna scoop up some gum arabic, and I'm just going to kind of flick it around in our ornament. In my opinion, the most random, the better. You can even like just go flick so that you get some of it on the top just while it's in there, just hit it with your pinky, just go boop and it'll pop it up. All of these things, you don't want to overdo it except for if you use a gold at the very end, which is one of my favorite things to do because it kind of covers up all the things you may have missed. I've even done vases this way, which is super cool. And then you just coat the inside with resin. So now we have all of the gum arabic in there that we're going to use and after each color you want to take your rings off first if you have a sippy sippy get after it is there, is there, such thing as... there you guys one second disposable sippy sippy disposable wine glasses yeah like a plastic cup yeah yes Okay, so you just want to tap it um, with a little bit of vigor, but be careful because it is glass and I will not be held responsible for you crushing an egg or a heart or any other shape ornament in your hands because you're just a little bit too aggressive. Um, I think I'm going to use some interference gold as well. This is by Color Art or Resin Art. I carry the blingets on our website, but I don't carry Color Obsession primary element colors. Just because those are for acrylics and I don't do that many acrylic things. Wait till you guys see how awesome this looks when we're done. It doesn't take that long. And like I said, I do these during the holidays with my family. This is where we're at so far. It just has the gold and the gum arabic. The gum arabic will dry clear or white. So these fun splotches of dark color where it like kind of outlines the splotches, that is because of the gum arabic, all those dark bits. So I really love how it looks. All right, moving on. Let's do uh, the green first, or the Laguna Azul, because I have more of that. Also, is my chat working? Because I haven't seen a new message in a while. So just like before, we're going to just insert our stirrer. So that we can put the color 
up in there. Yes, you can put glitter in as well as primary elements. I did glitter on this one, um, but it's solid glitter. This is Mermaid from Color Passion. I do have that color in stock as we speak. This is a very Christmassy green. I wonder if I should pair it with a red. Actually, I don't have a red, so never mind. Scratch that. Reverse it. Ooh, so you see it goes on that dark green color and then it's mixing a little bit with the gum arabic and the gold interference that we have in there. We're just gonna kind of smack it a little bit, just give it a little wacky whack. And that's going to bounce the color from one side to the other because you don't want it to just build up in there. You want it to be spread out. Ooh, it's gonna be a good one. Well, hopefully no soapy water is getting in there, B. So now I'm gonna put our purple color in there. This is called Chambord. If this green was a little bit more on the like teal side or a little bit more blue in there, this would be my go-to palette for almost anything. Some kind of purple or pink, some kind of teal or aqua color, and then gold. Ooh, this is turning red actually. So this will be our Christmas colors. Okay, I need some different mixers. Um, the ones I got are kind of like a flimsier, cheaper kind. And the ones I like to use are these slightly bigger type stirs. They're like rounded on the ends, or a little bit more quality. You saw them in person at Rhonda's last year? Oh, you were there, Jenny, when I brought them down and did them down there. What's up, Melissa? So on the heart one that I'm going to do next, what colors do you think I should use? Keep in mind, I don't have that many colors because I don't carry that many colors that are for acrylics instead of um, uh, words. Resin, that's the word. I recently scrubbed to your channel. I've been trying different resin crafts, but I'm pretty bad at it. I want to thank you for introducing me to Just Resin Paste. They are awesome. Catherine, I'm so glad you like them. And whatever it is that you're having problems with, just reach out to me. I'm happy to help, always, always. Okay. So I've got one more thing to add to this, and it's going to be a the 007 or Old Gold from Color Obsession. And hey, Clara, I'm sorry you're still not feeling amazing. Love you. So see these like blank bits that are right here? You can add more of the pigments we've been using and fill those in. But if you um, don't, then the gold I'm about to use will fill that in for you. That stuff sticks to everything. Um, and these white bits where the gum arabic is, those will dissolve into your pigments and it's gonna be amazing. It's already starting to dissolve in in this area where it's getting darker. So it was red and red. This bit in the middle would have had the gum arabic because it's starting to get super dark. Okay, so I'm gonna add the gold and then we're gonna let this one just live and we'll see what it's gonna do. I just got a whole bunch of 007, but I didn't wanna use all of it. 
because you guys have been asking for it for a while. So I'm just going to use some old gold from Color Passion. And it just goes in the same way that we did everything else. So we just got scared by Girl Cat. That happened. Also, my old gold is almost out. I'm going to bring this back up there so you guys can see what happens when we start shaking about our gold. Maybe I'm going to put some of this antique gold in there as well. because I have a little bit more of it than my old gold. Okay. All right, you guys. So, you can see this open area right here. Look at how it just fills in so beautifully all of those bits that we didn't quite get. So it's breaking through any thin spots or vacant spots. And those dips of color are going to be even more amazing after it kind of melts into our gum Arabic a bit. This area and this area as well. So we're going to let this live till the end of the video. And then we're going to check it out and see what kind of amazing we did. Cold Stone. Um, Stone Coat is coming out with a new resin. It's going to be a two to three hour quick setting UV resistant epoxy. It's going to be amazing. I have seen them work with it. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be carrying it. Go to bed, Claire. I feel better. So, purple and copper, I think I may be able to facilitate. I have black cherry, I don't have purple, but black cherry is pretty purpley. Ooh. Black cherry and copper, okay. I'm gonna use a red interference for this one. I'm gonna leave these ones a little bit on display over here. So in case people come in, they can see what we're trying to do today. Okay, so this one, like I mentioned before, you wanna get as much of the mm, pouring medium out as possible. I left a little bit extra in here. You can see it running. This is arguably way too much. If you can see like a color difference in the different areas, then it's a little bit too much so that you guys can see uh, what happens. But watch it not even do anything different just because I'm trying to tell you guys about it. Because that's, that's happened before. I have tried to add colors and gum Arabic and all the things in here like with a design, you know how some people can like push sand down into uh, other colors of sand and make like a design. Um, I have no idea how they do that, especially after I tried to like apply color in specific areas. I'm sure someone can do it, but I've never seen it. I haven't been able to do it. So yeah. What is happening, TG? We're making ornaments. Cool, cool, cool. Also, smacking it about a little bit knocks off some of the color or the gum Arabic and shoots it over to different areas so that it has kind of like a fade out and it's not just big splotches like this. That's going to take a little bit longer for the pigments, micas, etc., to soak in. So... 
yeah, if you're a child like me and have no patience or attention span past a couple of minutes, try to... Yes, also, and join us on ATD's Poor People, where we talk about art all day, every day. Okie dokie. We do. What? That's all that um, happens in ATD's Poor People is art things. Okay. Let's drop some purple in here. This is Black Cherry. You can get these colors from um, Color Art. They're primary elements. I used to have a code with them, but I don't think it works anymore. I know that Tammy Anderson still has a code, so use hers. Ooh, Black Cherry is such a beautiful color. I have it for resin in my shop. But I wouldn't put resin pigments in this application because... The resin art pigments need something. They need um, resin to dry or cure. And this uh, pouring medium that we use is water based, not epoxy based. So I don't think it'll work the same, unfortunately. You still have 50 clear ornaments. The flat ones are these ones. Isn't that going to be beautiful? Um, Belinda, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. You just have to find the, uh, the sponge or the, the foam thing that goes on the tube that's attached to the motor that you put your tumbler on. Um, you just need to find one of those that'll fit your particular size wine glass. Also, I would leave just a little bit of the rim uh, exposed. And like just tape it off like you, you would regular tumblers just to, just to be sure, just in case someone is allergic to um, epoxy. So this primary element is a little bit different. It's actually a mica. You can see the particle looks different even. One of them looks like resin art, dry paste, and the other one just looks like a mica. So they are different, so they're going to behave differently in here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the red bling it in first. Whatever you put in will show in the order that you put it in. So whatever colors last will have the least amount present because it's going to be behind the other colors in theory. So I want this one to be mostly black cherry. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to put this purple one in there because while it's beautiful, I don't know that it's going to go because the hues of the purple are so different. What's up, Sam? How have you been? We missed you. Oh, I'm so glad, Jilly. I'm so, so glad you like it. A dollar store football could work. That is also true. Okay, so I guess we need a little bit more. I think maybe I'm just going to add some chambord. I'm going to add some chambord and some more. Yeah, I'm going to add some chambord and some more black cherry. And then we're going to add, I don't know if I have a, well, yeah, I have a rose gold. Well, I have copper. Never mind. I have copper. JK, JK. Oh, you too, Jenny? Yeah, it was going to be a little bit abrasive for the general color palette that we were going with. All right, let me run and get my Carmen. 
What does this look like? Wow. That is a pretty color. It's crazy how it doesn't look like how it would. So a pro tip um, when you get powders is whatever medium you're using, um, like put white on your lid, just like a little dot, and then put a smear color swatch of what color it turns into on the lid so that you will never have to wonder what color it turns into. This is chestnut. This is Aurora. Ooh, yeah. Aurora is beautiful, but it's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to put these down and go get my copper or 001. Um, that's broccoli? Oh, I thought you said broccoli. Chopping broccoli. So this color that I'm about to use is 001, which is a rose gold by Color Obsession. It is the tea tiny baby sister of 007. Ooh, ah. Right. What's up, Amy? I remember that. Girl cat, what are you getting into? She's got something. Hinted turquoise. I think a hinted turquoise would look good. But I don't have any turquoise that I know of. <laughs> Everything is... I need to visit my Judy and pick up a couple more colors before the next time I do these. I was thinking at first that the copper would be a little bit too dark or orangey, but it really, it did good things. So let me show you guys. The gum Arabic is fading in right here. And these dark bits are because of the gum Arabic. This dark bit, this here. That dark bit, this dark bit. And these lighter areas are where it hasn't quite soaked in yet. So see here how it looks pretty fluid. These colors are melding together. That is because I have a little bit too much of the pouring medium still in here. So as soon as I set it down and stop moving it around like this, some of the colors in this one will kind of start to droop some because it's still too much liquid. It can't hold on to the outside. It's just going to be liquid over liquid. So it's going to kind of move and meld and mix these colors together, which it's not an altogether bad thing. You just have to be mindful of it so that you don't have a color that you're like, OMG, it's the best thing I've ever done in my whole life. And then you set it down and it goes real, real, real. So let's see how our first one is doing. Jenny, thank you. So sweet. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the first one we did. It's still a little bit too liquidy up here, but that's fine. All these dark blends are from the gum Arabic. This is gum Arabic that hasn't melted quite yet. All these dark spots are gum Arabic. I'm not even sure what gum Arabic really does or is or what is used for. I'm sure someone in the chat will let me know, but um, I know that it does beautiful things in resin ornaments like these. Hi, big boy. Bowie's telling me he needs to go OUT, so I may have to dip out in just a moment. 
but I wanted to show you guys how I do these ornaments. So in the very um, last thing I do is I'll put the this back on top. And then I'm going to have Jeff cut me out some names, like my little teeny tiny baby niece. I'm going to put her name on one and her favorite colors. It's going to say Baby's First Christmas. And I think it's super fun. I will post in ATD's Poor People what that looks like. Um after the gum arabic has fully dried out are these done be sweet 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 and i want to show you guys the this that we're doing right now so these are our scratch off cards and we're giving these away for every hundred dollars that is ordered on our website. There's so many prizes in here. There's gallons of resin donated by Stone Coat Countertops. There's paste, there's merchandise, there's class seats, there's pour with us kits. There's everything you can think of that we carry in our shop. There's at least one of those, including a bunch of 10%, 20% and 30% off codes that are just already written on these bad boys. If you go to our website, artisttilldeath.com, you can see a full list of the prizes that are just win. And then we have instant prizes on these as well and um, has all the rules. And so I'm excited. I'm excited about these. Every one of these is a winner. Every one of them has at least a 5% off code on them. Um, the question was, can you lay them flat or you have to have them standing up? So I would just leave them in just a cup that you have. These are just the little medicine cups. But honestly, you could lay them flat and leave them, except for be careful if you have one that has a lot of liquid still in it moving around because then it's going to puddle where it's laying. So maybe you leave it up so that it kind of puddles where nobody really will see it if you have too much in there that you notice. But if you get it mostly sloshed out, then you can leave them laying down and nothing will happen. If you get a box from me, then just let them sit just booty down in the box until the next day. And so yeah. You placed $100 order yesterday. Can't wait for my scratch off. Way to go. Um, so yeah, for every $100 spent, you get a scratch off card. And if you buy a mystery box, you get a scratch off card. And there's sometimes I just throw them in to people's orders just because I'm a crazy person, I guess. So there's some already that I just, even before the... Oh, she's playing with a box. Okay. Even before this, um, that's not the right lid. Even before our event started. She's a crazy person. I wonder if you guys can see her. See that little basket under there? That's what she's playing with. Boop, boop, boop. No, she's not going to come out just because I'm showing you guys. Anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and leave me a comment after this video post and tell me which egg is your favorite. Leaving a comment on a posted video helps our channel to populate in the suggested. I like, I like this one a lot. I think I had a little bit too much liquid in it so it's kind of melded very like money um i forgot what i was saying but subscribe it helps our channel share a video if you think it's worth sharing 
and um, support small businesses this holiday season. If you know someone that likes to art, then uh, get them some stuff from me. We have gift cards on our website. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email or a message via our website message thing thing. And so, yeah, you guys are the best. I have very limited cases of these left, but like I said before, you could use uh, any shape, ornament. What do you do, big boy? What do you do, big boy? You got me a sub from another channel tonight? You're the best, TG. This is my big boy, Bowie. If you don't know, he's the director. And he's my biggest boy. A dumb big boy. Anyways, you guys are the best. I will... See you guys on Monday for another exciting live. Oh, I wanted to show you guys how that um, piece turned out. B, will you grab that ocean? What are you doing? I want to show you guys that piece, so don't move. The one we did yesterday, the ocean. I still need to do another layer on. Now, red the boy. Thank you, my dear. What do you guys think of yesterday's final piece? I need to do another wave back set a little bit and do something with this and part, but I super love the texture that we got from crinkling that. Um, words are hard right now. You know what I mean? The thing, the stuff, the cellophane. Love it. Okay. You guys are the best, and I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Ooh, that was really shaky. Sorry about that. Kind of. Not really. A little bit. You guys are the best. We'll see you on Monday. Bye. Said bye. Did you say bye, Bobo? Did you say bye, Bobo? You did. You did. Okay. We're going. Go outside.